Hello. Today is the one year anniversary of me becoming the producer for my first feature length film. For those who do not know, a year ago today, uh, I was uh, given the opportunity to be the producer for a feature length film that Portland State University's student media group known as PSU TV has been putting on for the last four years. Well, I guess this will be the fifth year if they do uh, an annual film project five. It was a great opportunity. And it's exactly what I was hoping for. And it gave me a huge boost, a huge boost in my confidence um, in my abilities and that I was on the right path. That was good and it was bad. It gave me a lot of inspiration to do things and the drive to want to do more, to, to put myself out there and be more creative. But as the project went along, the less time that I could spend doing those additional things, which is fine. I knew that there would, it was coming down to a choice. Now, my original plan for last academic year was to do a handful of smaller projects. Um, I wanted to put some work into a documentary that I have been really wanting to do for the last like six years. One thing that about me is I, I, I love learning. I love knowing more things and trying different things and experimenting. And so. Uh, as, as some of my friends will say, I put too many irons into too many different fires. And that's a problem. And going into this film, I knew that that was an issue. So as the film ramped up, I started to push other aspects away. Simple stuff, even like not doing these videos while we were gearing up to film or posting on Instagram or I wasn't socializing. I did uh, like... During actual production of fence sitters, I did nothing but fence sitters. Like, I woke up, figured out what needed to be done for that day. I did it. Usually involved cooking a lot of food, making sure the next day was going to work, getting to set if I could, I was able to, dealing with any problems from the day past. It, it was an intensive, intensive, um, marathon a, a two-month marathon and I didn't finish it the film the film is moving along it's chugging along it's full steam ahead boys and girls but I broke I I failed now in a sense I didn't fail in another sense it's more, when I say failed, I, I mean I failed myself. And to some degree, I failed the people I was working with. They probably feel that I failed them more than I think I failed them, but maybe they think less. I don't, I honestly don't know. But I failed myself. I failed, and that's okay. The thing that I did not fail, the important thing, the really, really, really important thing that I did not fail was I went into this knowing it was a learning experience. Knowing that there was no way that I could know everything there was to know, to have an answer for every solution to every problem, whether it be in the film or my personal life in the surrounding bubble of it. And I still don't know everything, but the amount that I learned was worth, it was worth the heartache. It was worth the money going to film school. And that's, that's the important thing is I learned so much. I learned about me. I learned about interacting with other people. The people who work, I worked on with fence sitters with, they're amazing, great, wonderful, talented people. And I hope the best for them all. And the thing is, there was a point this summer that I was going to give it up all. All of it. all Every single thing of it. That I didn't feel like I was cut out to be a filmmaker. 
that I had set the bar so high for myself that it was an impossible goal to reach. And it almost destroyed me. And it hurt. There are wounds that may never heal. That's fine. The best way to learn is to try something and fail. I tried something. And I, I feel like I failed. That's the important thing. I, I learned. I learned so much. I learned what kind of projects I want to work on in the future. I learned what's important about that project. Like, one of the things that I feel like that was very damaging to me on this project was I knew that it being a student film and we weren't able to pay anybody that that I, I needed to inspire people to want to work together to bring and collaborate all those energies, their energies together. And you know what? I did it. I brought a variety of people together. They, they made a film. In some sense, that, that was the success. Not the success that I wanted, but it was a success nonetheless. No matter what happens to me, the film will go on and I didn't I didn't want to make fence sitters for glory I didn't want to make it to make a name for myself I wanted to make it to show myself that I could do it in that aspect I feel like I failed I feel like I didn't accomplish that goal at least I brought together a team that was stronger as a whole than any one piece of the puzzle and I take comfort in that and and I take a bit of that as as reassurance not to give up if if if, if I did anything right it was that at the very least because I went into this I went I went into this film knowing that it was a learning experience not just for the people that I was working with or the crew or the actors but for myself and it, it's it's been taking time to get over that sense of failure, that sense of loss that I feel. And I know I'm beating around the bush a bit, and I'm not going to get into all the hairy, scary, ugly details of everything that happened, because that doesn't matter. It doesn't. What matters is a piece of artwork is being made. It's going to be shown to people. I got a chance to be a part of that. I feel like I got to help other people experience their their goals and their dreams and learn and that that matters to me I, I want I still want to teach people I still want to teach people film I want to teach people how to tell a story I still want to tell stories and I, I'm going to, I'm rebuilding that confidence this experience won't get me down it won't stop me nothing will stop me and and that may be one of the greatest things that this has taught me is that uh, falling down that hill falling down the cliff uh, just falling down in general I guess and being able to get back up again is an important experience. And 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 that and that's going to be it. It's when when the next project comes along, it's when the next thing happens. I'll know what I want from it. I'll know what I want to do with it cuz that's 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 the that's the important thing, right? Is that was one thing. I built up a team. I didn't build myself up. I didn't even think about what I needed. I didn't think about oh, you know, what's the important thing for me out of this? I'm not trying to make it sound like, oh, I was so selfless and all that bullshit. Like, I had selfish reasons. I wanted to teach people. I wanted to learn. I wanted to do certain things. But, I mean, I didn't take the time or consideration to figure out what I wanted. And not having that, when I, you know, did 18, 20-hour days and bombarded by one problem to the next, people getting sick, people getting... Uh, frustrated and lost and confused that I didn't have that sense of reassurance to lean back on that, that oh this is what I'm doing this for that you know not not what I was doing it for but what I was doing for for me like what you know I picked the writer I picked the director I picked the DP I picked the story that the writer wrote but along the way felt like it wasn't my project anymore that's the that's the most painful part it's like a child who left home I guess you know what 
I think I think what's important for me is is it's it's remembering. It is using what I've learned to move forward to build upon success. So from now on, November eighth for me, at least in my book, my calendar, my uh my holidays. I've always wanted my own damn holidays. I'm not a big fan of Christmas or Easter or Halloween. Like, there's aspects I like of it. But you know what? November 8th. November 8th. It is going to be Failure Day. Where we reminisce about the failures that we've done. But we spend the time to think about it. What we learn from it. Because if you just look at a, fa at a failure as a non-starter, a non-sequitur, whatever the words are, is, is something to bring you down instead of to rise you up, you'll never move forward. So we should embrace our failures. We should learn from them. We should not forget them, no matter how small or big. Every failure can teach us something. So, for me, and if you want to... Uh, Failure day. I'll see you in a few days.